Okay, guys, so we're starting chapter four. Chapter four is all about those transformations. We're starting today with translations and reflections. So getting started, um, there's a lot of plotting points, so there's going to be a little bit of dead time um, in our um, recording here. So first off, let's talk about um, a transformation is a function that moves or changes a figure in some way to produce a new figure, and it's called an image. So a transformation. So a transformation is a function that moves or changes a figure in some way to produce a new figure that's called an image. Oops. All right. So you start with your pre-image, so your original. Okay. So you always start with the pre-image. This is your original. All right, sorry about that. So the original, original, so your original is your pre-image and your copy is your image. So your inputs and your outputs. So there are four types of transformation. The four types are translations, which is what we're gonna do today, and reflections. Oops, need an S there, well, oh, not there. And then the next one, um, which we will do next time, this is going to be rotations and dilations. So those are the four tops that we're going to look at. All right. <clears throat> so in a translation, if the rule all right, so let's let's just talk about it first. So the coordinate notation. So coordinate notation, you start with your X and your Y here. So we're going to start with our X and our Y, and we're going to change it by adding 7 and subtracting 3. So adding 7 means you're going to go 7 units to the right. So adding 7 to the X is going positive on the X axis. Subtracting 3 from the Y means you're going to go down 3, okay? So this is going to be 7 units to the right, 3 units down. All right, down and left is negative, up and right is positive. And this is something that you want to make sure that you remember, okay? All right, so let's talk about this problem over here. If the rule is x minus 2, y plus 3, which direction is this graph moving? So if I'm subtracting 2 from the x, so if I'm subtracting 2, then I'm going to go left. So we're going to go left 2. And if we're adding 3 to the y, we're going to go up. So we're going to go up 3. So I will write it as pictures and in words. All right. So let's look. So it says use this translation. Okay. So we're going to take our pre-image, our original, and we're going to make a copy by adding 6 and subtracting 3. All right. So use this translation. What is the image of our original? So if you have your original, 4 and 5, so this is your 4 and this is your 5, in other words, we're going to add 6. So you're going to add 6 here. You're going to subtract 3 here. So 4 plus 6 is 10. 5 minus 3 is 2. So that means J prime. Prime indicates that it's an image. All right, and then what about this one? Okay. So if we're going to take this image and we're going to add 6, and then we're going to subtract 3. 0 plus 6 is 6. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. And that would be a double prime because it's already been made, it's already made been made a copy. Now it's a copy of a copy. Okay. All right. Well, what about this one? This one says graph triangle RST with these vertices and its image. So you're going to graph the original. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do over here, and there's a little space right here, but I can't, I, you're going to have to write yours here. I can't squeeze it all in because this um, kind of writes too big. So I'm going to take the 2, 2, the, I guess I could probably fit it. The 2, 2, the 5, 2, 
in the three five. I don't know if we're going to get it in there or not. So those are my originals, and we're going to add one to the x values and add two to the y values. So that's three four. So that point is r. So this is your r prime. I'm going to add one here, and I'm going to add two here. So this is going to be s prime. So s prime is 6, 4, and add 1 and add 2, because you're doing, you're doing the same thing because you want it to move the same way. So 3 plus 1 is 4, 5 plus 2 is 7, and this is your t prime. All right, so let's plot the original. So 2, 2, 5, 2, and 3, 5. All right, so if I draw my triangle there and then plot your new points, my new points are 3, 4, 6, 4, and 4, 7. So now I'm going to – and there is the same triangle. So this is R, S, T, and this is R prime, S prime, T prime. So you can kind of see you just take the triangle and you just, you slid it over one and up two. So you went over one, up two, over one, up two, over one, up two. Okay? All right. Write the rule. So this time we're going to write the rule. So what you want to do is um, pick a point, so let's just say point P, okay? So I'm just going to look at point P. Point P is located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's located at negative 6, positive 5. <coughs> P prime, which is this one right here, is located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. So it's negative 5 and 2. So what happened? How did I go from here to here? Well, in order to go from negative 6 to negative 5, I went right one unit, so that means we added 1. And then the y value to go from here down to here, I had to go down 3, so that means we subtracted 3. So that means your rule is x plus 1, y minus 3, because we subtracted. So if you look at s, so if I start here at s, if I add 1 to the x, it goes this way, and down 3 gives me right where I need to be. At q, if I add 1 and go down 3, that puts me there. At r, if I add 1 and subtract 3, that puts me there. So if I do the same rule to all the corners, it's going to get me in my new spot. All right, so now let's look at reflections, okay? Now, reflections, <clears throat> reflections use a line like a mirror to reflect a figure. So the mirror is called the line of reflection. So this is called your line of reflection. And let me type this in. So this is your... Line of reflection. And that just totally. So that should be underlined there. All right. So reflection. It uses a line like a mirror to reflect a figure. The mirror line is called your line of reflection. Here's your superhero tip. Highlight your, your line of reflection, okay? All right, so here we go. So here we have the vertices for J, triangle JKL, J, K, and L. And we're going to graph the pre-image and the image, all right? So I'm just going to do this pretty quick. And let's see, so 1, 3, so 1, 3, 4, 4, and 3, 1. All right, so here is triangle JKL. So J, K, 
K and L. All right. So it says graph the triangle and its image. So this is the pre-image after a reflection over the x-axis. So if we're going to reflect over the x-axis. There's a rule. Okay, so when you reflect over the x-axis, the rule is to take the original x and y and change them slightly. X will not change at all because you're reflecting over the x-axis, so x will stay the same. Your y value will become opposite. Okay, so if we have points j, k, and l. All right, so points j, k, and l. So if x, y... And then we're going to have our new points, x, negative y. So if my points are 1, 3, then my new points are 1, negative 3. If point k is 4, 4, then the new point is 4, negative 4. So all you're doing is changing the y value. L is <clears throat> 3, 1. So your new point is 3, negative 1. So that is a reflection. So if I were to plot the new points, so 1, negative 3, 4, negative 4, and 3, negative 1. So here is our new points. And I know this is not a super, it's not super obvious, but um, I think I got off a little bit. So the numbers are the right ones. This is your this is the line of reflection, okay? All right, so now if you're going to change over the y-axis, now your x and y will become negative x and y. <coughs> so doing the same thing, okay? So if we've got 1, 3, then it's going to become negative 1, 3. So when you're reflecting over the y-axis, now the y will stay the same. 4, 4 will become negative 4, 4. And 3, 1 will become negative 3, 1. Okay, so these are your, this is your pre-image. This is your new image. Original, copy. All right, so let's look at some other rules. So this one says to graph the poly polygon's image after a reflection over the line y equals x. Well, when you're reflecting over y equals x, you're basically just reflecting over the parent function. So if I were to draw that line there and I reflected over it, your x and your y just trade places. So now they're just going to trade places. So x becomes y, y becomes x. Okay. So if I look at point D, okay, so point D is at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 3, positive 4. They just trade places. It becomes 4, negative 3. So I'm going to go 4, negative 3, and that is D prime. Point C, point C is at negative 1, 4. So negative 1, 4. So just trade places, 4, negative 1. 4, negative 1. So now there's C prime. B, negative 1, 2. So it's just going to trade places. 2, negative 1. That's your B prime. And then your A is negative 3, 2. Just trade places. 2, negative 3. So 2, negative 3. There's your A prime, and there is your new figure. So you just took it and flipped it over. All right. The longest thing here is graphing these points. They do take a little bit of time. All right. So this time we're going to graph the image over the reflection of Y equals negative X. So this time we're going to reflect it going this direction. So now Y equals negative X is this line here. And the rule is to take your x and your y, and they trade places again, but they also become opposites. So they trade places and become opposites, okay? So if I look at the points A, B, C, and D, so A is at 2, 0. 
So it's going to become 0, negative 2. B is at 5, 3. So it's going to become negative 3, negative 5. C is at 2, 5. So it's going to become negative 5, negative 2. And D is at 1, 4. So it's going to become negative 4, negative 1. All right. And I'm not going to plot it because as long as you have the rules, you should be able to plot the points. All right. We got two more. And I really want to keep this under 20 minutes. All right. So here are our vertices. So we have points A, B, and C. This is our pre-image. So we're going to reflect over line N, okay? All right, so we're going to reflect over the line X equals negative 1. So this time, this is the line we're flipping over. So we're going to reflect over this line right here, all right? So now, if I were to plot this point 1, 3, 1, 3. So what I want you to notice is if we're reflecting over this line, what you're going to need to do is count how many spaces away. So I am two spaces away, so I've got to be two spaces away over here. So I'm going to take this point 1, 3, and I'm going to reflect over this line right here. Now I'm located at negative 3, 3. So now I'm at negative 3, 3. So notice when I flipped over that line, my y value stayed the same, but my x value changed. Okay, so now let's go 5, 2. So when we flip over this line, so 5, 2, so I'm right here, I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I want to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be negative 7, 2. So basically, however far you are away, double it. Okay? So 2, 1. Well, I know when I flip over to 1, so here's the triangle. So when I flip over to 1, um, 1 is going to stay the same. But now I am 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So now I'm at negative 4, 1. How many of you? This one's way out here. So we took it and we flipped over that line. So when you're reflecting, the goal is to stay the same distance from the point of reflection or the line of reflection. So since I was two units away, then you're going to subtract four because we went that direction. All right, so let's look at y equals one. So this time we're going to reflect over y equals one. So we're going to reflect this away. Okay, so we've got our same points, 1, 3, 5, 2, and 2, 1. <clears throat> so 1, 3, 1, 3. So this time we're 1, 2 units away, so we're going to go 1, 2 units away. So now we're at 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. So this time our x value is going to stay the same. So think we can go ahead and write our x values down because we know those are not going to change because we're reflecting over the y this time. So we're going down this way. So you're flipping this way. So if I go 5, 2, since I'm one unit away, I'm going to be one unit away. So we've got that line and we've got that line. And that is at 5, 0. And then 2, 1. 2, 1 is right here. Well, if I reflect over that, since I'm on the line, it doesn't change. So now you've got that triangle, and then you just flipped it. It's like taking it, and you go, boop, you just flipped it over that way, okay? So we're going to do some more in class with this, um, but it's all about following the rules. Um, as long as you're following the rules, and they are at the bottom of your formula chart, then you should be able to manipulate these points to put them where you want them. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.